Hey everybody, happy Sunday. I just thought I would do this really quick follow-up video uh, regarding a video I made about a month ago regarding Comcast and how I was unable to get my data usage meter to work on my account. And just to kind of give you a recap, and I'll put the link to that video in the description if you care to watch it. If you don't, that's fine. I'll give you a quick recap of what happened. Um, at that time, I, was, I had been moved into the one terabyte per month data cap plan uh, without my knowledge, but that's another story. And I had no idea how much I was using each month as far as data because I couldn't access my usage meter. So um, basically it was about a month of back and forth and hours worth of phone calls and with the customer support at Comcast. And it was getting me nowhere. So I was really frustrated. So I made that video hoping that I would get some help, maybe some viewers, who would see it may help me and figure out what I need to do but you know regardless I ended up reaching out to someone on the uh, customer forum or the message boards at Comcast and I was actually re uh, responded to by one of the moderators who work for Comcast and they were able to forward my information and everything to wherever it needed to go and um, officially on February 1st it actually started working. It appeared on my homepage, on my app, everything. So whatever that person did, you know, they they knew what they were doing. The customer service people had no clue. So, and I guess he was customer service too, but um, the people that I kept, you know, calling at Comcast had no clue. This guy knew what to do, apparently. So, and then I also got a phone call out of nowhere about, let's see, two weeks ago. For regarding the help ticket that was put in over a month ago so it took them almost three weeks to respond to the help ticket which that's pretty pathetic but regardless it's been dealt with it's been taken care of so whoever the person was that fixed it on my on the message boards you know that was that was who helped so anyway the reason I wanted to make this video first of all to, to mention that it has been fixed but also I thought maybe this might be a quick easy way to show people who are kind of scared about going over the limit you know if, if they're if they're still having that problem um, how much does one terabyte actually get you as far as data um, because I knew I know when I was uh, before I was able to see my usage I was I had no idea what a terabyte would actually allow me to do because it seems like a lot but still when you're streaming you know a lot of uh, videos and stuff all day you know not all day but uh, throughout the day and weekends and over a period of a month that really does add up I thought so let me just give you a typical day as far as what I do now first of all it is just me in the apartment that's using the internet I don't have kids uh, so it's there's not a lot of people in the household I can see where a terabyte may not be enough for a family you know that would really be pushing it but if you're you know just one person even two people um, I think that you're gonna be alright because a terabytes actually quite a lot so basically on an average weekday I get home from work you know I'm, I'm gone from work from you know morning till about I don't know I get home around 5 I usually don't even watch anything till about 6 so you know I on an average day I don't really watch TV I watch everything through streaming because I, I watch a lot of on-demand um, like I had mentioned before, my uh, my mom at her house, she has satellite, so I use her password and everything to watch on-demand shows through all the networks. I don't typically watch TV through antenna or anything like that. I watch on-demand. 99% of what I watch is streaming. So whether it's YouTube, on-demand, or um, sports, or Netflix, from about you know 5.30 to 6.00, to maybe 11 at night I'm streaming constant streaming and you know I may watch um, ESPN app and I might watch you know I watch a lot of college basketball that's typically about two hours for a game and you know it's, it's streamed in high definition you're talking like five hours of constant streaming and it's not like I'm just sitting there staring at the TV you know I'll have stuff playing you know while I'm doing other things that's a lot of internet and usage or at least I thought so it's not near as much as I was worried it was going to be and if you look at about um, my usage which is right here 
I'm, you know, if you spread this out over right now, we're at, uh, it shows us through the 26th, but it's always a day behind as far as their uh, usage meter. If you were to spread this out over 25 days <laughs> or even, and then, you know, figure it up on a 30 day basis, I'm not even 20% of my usage. So this is what I'm at at 25 days now. So, and this actually last night or yesterday, I watched two full games on ESPN or actually actually one on ESPN one on Big Ten Network I watched um, a movie late last night so I was constantly streaming there was a lot of streaming going on and again that's all in high definition so that's a typical weekend is you know just a lot of streaming and this is after 25 days so I if you're worried about going over your limit I would say you're probably not ever going to come close to it if you're anything like me. You know, I thought I used a lot of data, but apparently I don't. I don't even use 20%. So that's pretty good as far as I'm concerned. Now, if you're doing a lot of gaming and stuff all day, which that's one thing I don't do. I don't even own a gaming system, so I don't do anything like that. If you're a basic user like I am, you know, one terabyte is definitely plenty so I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of what my usage is which is that and what the most the typical person is going to use if, if especially if it's just one person uh, so if you have any questions or anything feel free to ask and I hope you all have a great weekend and thanks for watching